Chelsea stand at the dawn of yet another league campaign. The overwhelming question being, of course, how ready are they? It's a great time to be a fan. Smiles are beaming, expectations are up. They've been deprived of the game during the off-season. It feels like an eternity. New hopes, new faces, but the same old game. That match day feeling is well and truly back. It is a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. Everybody waiting to get the season underway. Everybody equal on the start line. Well, with star names and new faces, both on the pitch and on the bench, let's hope for a, a more attractive, competitive and unpredictable league. Uh, a better product for all to see. Although I'm beginning to think that we're asking for the impossible. We'll get lots to analyse and debate come what may as ever. And this ought to get us off to a busy start. I've been waiting for this quite a while, and I know you have too, Peter. So, here we go. Well, we're on the way. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Yeah, Kaladu Koulibaly. It's easy to just focus on the physical side of his game, Peter, because... He's so powerful and quick, making it basically impossible for a forward to get the better of him in a one-on-one -on -one situation. But there's more to his game. He reads the play extremely well. Great leap! Oh, just needed a better contact. Nottingham can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. Battles to win it back. Well, there's always this great sense of excitement when there's a new boss at the club. The, the pre-match press conference was terrific. First time we really had the chance to, to hear what he has to say about his ambitions. Yeah, we're getting a real buzz, aren't we? I, I think he certainly managed to come across as someone who is very ambitious. I thought he, he put his points across extremely eloquently in, very well. in talking about his plans for the future. So now he just needs to get off to a, a good start. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. The movement was good, but the pass lacked authority, uh, a cause of mild frustration. And it's Chilwell. Played into the mid... Massive leap! And, oh, he's got that completely wrong. Sterling. Sterling really just wasn't quick enough then. Well, his thinking certainly wasn't. Didn't make use of what I felt were some very good options. Wood. That's gone a long way up and away. Chance! He scored! Well, he was never going to miss from there. Oh, look, there's only one player who merits all the praise for that. Not only did he finish it, but his instincts for being where he was are absolutely top-notch.
Nottingham take the lead, 1-0. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. Chilwell. Chelsea are seeing plenty of the ball at the moment, but still they trail. So who's he picking out? Plays it back. Big chance! was a thing of beauty, curled in effortlessly. You know, Peter, from the moment it left his foot, it looked unstoppable. That was thumped. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Well, there's resilience for you, Peter. As a side, they never lost focus despite the setback. And this is thoroughly merited for me. Now they can go on better, possibly. Foot in. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Hoists it forward. Forward it goes. That's a promising ball. Shapes the shoot! Chelsea are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Well, this is what we've been waiting for. Well, they're very much the better team at the moment, Peter, and, and no doubt we'll be looking to, to cause even more damage here. Sterling. Beautifully executed. Can he deliver? And it's Chilwell. Shapes to shoot. He's done very well to get to that. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeper. He's through the middle. Has a goal! No messing about, just bludgeoned away. Sterling. Gets good distance on it. They've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Swung in towards the middle. Koulibaly. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Finish, but how about the touch? It just allowed him to put the ball exactly where he wanted it, and the rest became a formality. His second of the game, and an eye now for the hat trick. So the 
And the whistle goes for half time. Chelsea are two up, and on the balance of things, I would say, deservedly so. They have a very coherent game plan, and if they are allowed to continue in the same vein, I can only see the margin getting bigger. And that has been a bold rest half. It is 3-1. The action is back on the way. Changes made by neither side from what we understand. Sterling. And it's Chilwell. Whipped it. He's had a shot! Arter tries to get it forward quickly. Nottingham uh, keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of going beyond that rear guard. Chance! So easily have been different. Well, he doesn't need a second invitation, even from that range. Sterling. Chelsea look on course to seal win number one of the season. And here's Sterling. Decent ball. That intervention was very necessary. Gets it back. And here's Sterling. Beautifully done. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. Oh, that's a booking. Always looked it. Players protesting furiously, but there's little or no sympathy from the ref. It's hit the crossbar. That was travelling. Thiago Silva. Zayek. Chilwell. Well, that's where he wants it. Kulibali cuts it out. Sterling. The ball's come loose, and the chase is on. Shot a goal! Should have put that one away. He'll be fuming with himself for not converting. He could have killed it off. Oh, there is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Yeah, it's about time I think we saw some activity from the bench, but it's it's debatable as to what level of impact can be made from here. It's it's pretty late. And he just whacks it away. Wood. And it's played forward. And the ball's come out. Volleyed effort. 
Well, I think his mind was made up the way that ball arrived, and I certainly admire his willingness to hit the volley. Only partially clear. And it's Arta. Goes for goal! And somehow he managed to miss it. Well, that's a real shame, because it could have led to a real momentum shift. And it's played forward. Five minutes left on the clock. Played into space out wide. Shot and the shot! Quality goal, lovely first touch, sumptuous second. He snaffles his third, and that earns him the match ball. Oh, this has been an immense contribution from one player. He's been just about unplayable. The irresistible force today. Chelsea grab a three-goal lead. It's just too easy. <laughs> oh, real danger here. Referee has just said play on. And that will be the final act. Chelsea have their win on opening day. The season perfectly teed up. Could you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? Chelsea have plenty to be pleased about with a well-earned three points. I'd call it a performance of uh, smart... Well, sadly, for those who are exposed to the elements, I'm afraid that the clouds have opened up and it is teeming down here. There are some fans who are going to get very, very wet. Having said which, there are almost no empty seats. It is a terrific turnout under the circumstances. There's nowhere else to go, in truth, if you want to see this much-anticipated game. So, come rain or come shine, we are here and really looking forward to it. Well, here is a ground that requires no formal introduction. One of the truly iconic venues of our sport, the place where dreams are made. It is, of course, Old Trafford, Manchester. If you're just joining us, we are already on the way. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Yeah, N'Golo Kante. He is only one midfielder, but it often feels like he does the work of two or three. He's got exceptional awareness for danger and the stamina to make... Has a pop! And he's done it! It's hardly a surprise, is it? That's what we're here for, a player with this wonderful knack of being able to show up and deliver at important times. Yet, yet another example. He was urged to shoot and he duly delivered. Yeah, it looks simple, Peter, but it requires intelligent use of space and, and good understanding to pull it off. So, a breakthrough already. Baran tries to get it forward quickly. Well, both teams have made a perfect start to the season, which certainly adds to the prospect here. Plays it out to the wing. Sterling. And he's there to hoof it away. And the through ball is intercepted.
Chelsea are already ahead. The and the shot! A chance to play it in. He's making good use of his strength there. Just ref gets up to head it! And oh, he's got that completely wrong. Oh, no, that was a chance. What a chance. As they might, they just couldn't get into an attacking area. Now a chance to break. It's a promising ball. Has a goal! It's there! And they're at it again in double quick time! Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Chelsea take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, at 1-0, this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way, and that losing feeling the other. Conte. That's not going to make it. Get that clear. Casemiro. Dashing forward at pace. Tries to switch the play. He's there to his... Has a hit! And it goes! Oh, what a cracking goal. But a cracking touch as well. That's what made it for me. That's brilliant play all round. This is threatening to become a really good game. Well, it was important they didn't get ahead of themselves and lose their discipline. This game plan could near well reward them with an equaliser. Sterling. Midway through the first period, and it's looking quite a game here. Conte. Oh, that's a, an agonising miss, just pure agonising. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. And it's played forward. Out to the left it goes. He's away! Casemiro battles to win it back. Rafael Varane. Baran with the crossfield ball. Decent progress down the left. Hoists it forward. Back 
to the keeper and go again. Away from immediate danger. Manchester keep the ball but can't do anything meaningful with it. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Casemiro, he does have an assist to his name. And there's the end of the first half. So a really good half of football. Three goals and just one separating them. It's kind of a hard one to call, Peter, isn't it? I mean, from what we've seen so far, both sides have provided ample evidence that they can add more goals, and I'm sure their respective managers have reminded them that the next one will be pretty crucial. So it's going to be interesting to see how the teams come out for the next period. Well, it's still anyone's game, as, as both sides have shown they have goals in them. As for the next one, should it arrive, um, that may have a bigger bearing as to who emerges victorious. Chelsea leading by one in a finely poised game. It is intriguing to watch and could easily go either way. So we're just settling back into this second half. Ball's gone out of play. Plenty waiting in the middle. Played into the middle. Lovely bit of skill there. And here's Sterling. Sterling! He's pulled off a fine save. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class weight. Defending of the desperate variety. He's put it on the right now. What's on? Can he deliver? And he heaves it forward. Plays it back. Good feet. Martial. Oh, that Martial has a goal! And the whistle's gone, presumably for offside. Well, it's good stuff. This is better. Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Spot on, Peter. Kepa gets it upfield. Maguire. Well, it's a crossing feast here, but I'd advise them to keep a variety in their play to avoid being found out and stopped. Yeah, nobody's going to argue with that. Played out to the right. That's a throw. Conte. Out to the right. Oh, that's neat. Crosses it. Only partially clear. Cleared without complication. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? Cuts it out. Maguire.
Aran goes looking. Ericsson. Points by no means guaranteed just yet. And here's Martial. Big chance! No space, no problem. You just cannot stop him. Marshall really showed good strength there. Held his man off, didn't let himself get bullied, and got his effort away. Maintained control. So, time for changes on both sides, actually. Two changes being made right now. This has become one superb game of football. Well, the big question now is whether they can keep the energy levels up and try and grab a winner. Up to meet it! Nick with his head, but couldn't steer it in. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. Oh, that had to be more accurate. A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. It's a good run down the left-hand side. And here's Casemiro. A really good feat from him. Needs a quality cross. Manchester don't have many options and time... That's pretty clear, it is a foul. Well, the ref's been lenient here. I doubt he'll get too many more chances. Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal then. Fernandez! Not the worst effort, Peter. It just needed a bit more fine tuning. The referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. A game chock full of moments and talking points. It could have gone either way, but chosen the end.